For this video, I'm going to show you how to animate your subtitles just like Mr. Beast using Vegas Pro 19. Just like always, you want to get yourself the clip and you want to drag this into the timeline. And we also want to drag ourselves the audio. So once you've got yourself the video and the audio, you also want to right click it in the empty area and get yourself a new video track. With this new video track, we're going to go over to the media generators. And in here, you wanna go down to the titles and text. In here, you want to get yourself the default text and drag this in above all of your layers. So this is going to be the text and we want to first of all, type in the first line of the text. You also want to switch on over to a very nice and bold font. What Mr. Beast does is he uses a nice bold font that really stands out. We're going to go into the text and in here you wanna set it to a font called OB, OB Flex Pro. Now, There'll be a link to the download page if you'd like to download it. And as you can see, it is really bold, really thick, and it really stands out. Go ahead and just lower the size of it so we can actually see it on the screen. So we're gonna set it to something like 36. And of course, this wouldn't be complete if we didn't add a drop shadow. So as you can see, at the moment, it blends in with the video and we want it to stand out. So to make it stand out, we're going to scroll down, go down to shadow, and in the shadow, you want to enable the shadow. Now the goal here is to also change the offset to 0 0.100 for the Y. And what this will do is it will bring it closer to the text. Same applies for this one right here. For the X, you want to set this one to 0 0.100. And of course, you can also change the blur shadow. And what this will do is it will either make it more bold and closer together, or if you put it to something much higher, then it's going to spread it out a lot more, as you can see. So we we'll wanna set it to about, let's say 0 0.300. Something like this looks really good and makes the text really stand out. Now that you've done that, we're going to close this down. We're going to scroll up to zoom in, and you want to align this subtitle right here along with the actual audio. And all you have to do is just drag this back down to make it smaller. We're going to put it all the way up to the end bit right here. And we're also going to cut it right about here, which is where it actually starts. So the next thing that Mr. Beast does with his subtitles is he also animates them. And that is of course why I'm making this video. When it comes to animating this subtitle, there is two ways that you can do this. You can do it the lazy way by going into the media generators. And in here, you will have a animation option right here. So if you left click in here, these are the default animations for the text. And if you wanted to, you can use them. They're really easy to use. Let's say you wanted the drop split. You can get yourself the drop split. And if we have a look at this, you can see the text drops in nicely. Now with this, sometimes it's going to be really slow. So to speed up the animation, all you have to do is go to duration right at the top. And this will normally be set to 10 seconds. So you wanna set it to something like 0 0.1. So it's gonna be a second long. As you can see, we now have this really cool animation right here. But let's say that you didn't want a template and you wanted to actually create your own animation. So we would turn this animation off, and what you would do is you would go into the event slash crop. In here, once you've got yourself into the event slash crop, all you have to do is scroll out to zoom out. Before we can actually start, you want to make sure that you have the sync cursor. The reason for this is because it will sync your video event slash crop with your video preview so you can actually see what it's going to look like when you are animating it. And what we're going to do is we're going to create ourselves two separate keyframes. The first one is going to be the default one. So you want to drag this out. And the second one, or the first one in this case, is to hold shift and then scale this up to make it zoom in. 
or scale this down if you want it to zoom out. So as you can see, if we play this slowly, you can see that this text appears onto here. Now we want to also speed it up. So to make this quicker, we just move the keyframe closest to the first one, making the time shorter for the animation. You can also right click on the keyframe and then set this one to fast. If you wanted to, you can also get creative with this. So depending on how quick or how much of a zoom you want it to do, you would either scale this down even more or you would get creative with it and you can even tilt this text so it appears like this. And if we have a look at this preview, we're going to left click, drag this out and get yourself a loop region. With the loop region, what we can do is we can press Shift and B and this will give us a nice ramp preview of a real time and what it's going to look like. So if we play the video, for this video, as you can see, it looks really cool and really engaging. And of course, if you wanted to, you can even get yourself a fade in by dragging the corners. So this will have a one second fade in where it will slowly start to fade in like so. You can even add a fade out if you wanted to by dragging the end bit. And this will make the text nicely disappear. So from here, what you would do is to save yourself some time, you don't have to do this again. You just have to press Control and C to copy this. Go a little bit further out and make sure you are on the start of the next line. Press Control and V. So yeah, you wanna make sure you take the top one right here, which will make it independent. You don't want it to be a reference because it will automatically change the first one as well. So once you've got yourself this one selected, Go ahead and press OK. Same as last time, you want to have a look at the video and put it up to the start and the end of it. So for this one, go back into the media generators, double left click, make it smaller, make sure it fits onto the screen. So same goes for this one, you can close this down and if you want to have the same effect as your first one, you would leave it as default and this will animate itself or you can go back into the video effects or the video event slash crop. And in here, you can change it up. Let's say for this one, you wanted it to be an opposite and you wanted it to zoom in. You do the opposite and make it so that it does this. So if we have a little preview, we can have a look. For this video, I'm going to show you. So from here, what you would do is you would follow the same steps continue on animating it. And yeah, just get really creative with it. Let me know what you think of this video. And as always, I will see you all in my next video. Bye.